Hello everyone, we will continue the topic validations and substitutions and in the previous videos, we did a practical for the validation, we did a practical for the substitution. Now the most important, I will say conclusion and if someone is asking the question on validation and substitution, it's a high probability that this question will be in the interview. They will ask, you have a validation, you have a substitution, suppose for application area and call up point. So which one will trigger first validation or substitution? If both are active validation and substitution, which one will trigger first? Suppose. If I will go for the example, we did a validation. Suppose if I will go to GGP0 transaction code, we did a validation for the application area financial accounting for the call up point document header and we have this validation. Now if I will go to substitution, GGP1 transaction code, we have a substitution for the same application area and call up point. This is your application area and this is the call up point 0001 document header. So for the application area financial accounting for the call up point 0001, we have both the validation and substitution. So which one will trigger first and maximum time people will give the answer validation will trigger first and then the substitution. But this answer is wrong because people have a understanding that data will be validated first, then it will go for substitution. But this is wrong answer. Just go for a simple understanding. You are validating the data and then you are going for substitution. Suppose you are going for substituting the wrong value. Then after that, if validation is not there, it means the wrong data will save into the database table. So firstly, your values will get substituted. Your values will be replaced. After that, the final validation should trigger so that it will check we are not going for any wrong data saving into the database table. So for the best clarity, what I will do, I will put a breakpoint into validation function module. I will put a breakpoint into substitution function module and I will show you the full process in the debugging mode. But most important conclusion question from the interview perspective. So firstly, I will activate the validation because I deactivated the validation. So I will go to OB28 transaction code. You all know you can go for validation in financial accounting area through OB28 transaction code. It's already opened. I'll check. Okay, it is already open. So I will make it active. You all know one is the value. So our validation is active. I will check substitution also. Okay, substitution is also active. Now I will put a breakpoint into those two function modules. This is our validation function module. I will put a breakpoint. And similarly, I will put a breakpoint into substitution function module. System is responding slow. Okay, it's open. So I will put a breakpoint into validation function module. I will put a breakpoint into substitution function module. And then we will understand in that debugging mode. I'm putting a breakpoint into substitution function model. I will go to FB01 transaction code. 
you all know you can create or post a accounting document through FP01. I'll put some document date. I will go for some document type. Company code, I will go for DE11. I'll go for write data. Now I will simply put enter. And whenever I will put enter, you will be able to see firstly substitution will trigger. Then the validation will trigger. So system will enter into that debugging mode. And you can see firstly substitution trigger. Yes, if prerequisite fulfilled, it will substitute the values. And now you can see validation is triggering. I will go for F8. So this is the data. After that, we need to put the test data. So it is very important to understand that firstly, substitution will trigger and then the validation will trigger. Now it's a request to everyone. I am putting so much stress. Your practice should not impact the other people. I am not saying you did the practical for substitution and validation. You should delete that but at least make it deactive because your validation and substitution stop the work of other people also. So if you are learning for practice perspective, from learning perspective, always think in mind that your work should not impact the other people because they, are, they will also do the practice in the system. So I will simply make the validation also deactive. And similarly, I will make the substitution also deactive. This is validation. I will go for substitution. Whenever I will require or whenever I want to do the practical, I will make it active at that point of time. But just make it deactive. Okay, I'll go for OBBH. I will make the substitution also deactive. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I told you that if we have a validation and substitution, which one will take a priority? So we took the example, we have an application area, we have a call-up point. If application area and call-up point both are same and we have validation and substitution, then substitution will trigger first. And after that, the validation will trigger because it is a common understanding that if validation will be there, you are substituting the wrong values, then who will validate the data? So validation should be at the last so that if wrong values also substituted, they will be validated and the data will not save to the database table. Then after that, I put the breakpoints into those two function module and I showed you, yes, Substitution is calling first and then the validation is triggering. Then at the last, I deactivated both the substitution and validation because others are also practicing in the system. So I should not impact the work of the people. So that's it in this video. Thank you.